Let me tell you something, ma'am. Let me just go right there. If I wanted to whoop your ass, it wouldn't be shit you could do except take it. You are not my you are not my you are not my equal. I'm tired of you women walking around here thinking that you're a man's equal. You ain't my equal because we allowed you to have a job that you ain't qualified for. Policing is not a female profession. It's a male profession. Just like the, I hope you could whoop my ass. Because it is a male yes. profession. It is a yeah. male profession. Now see, now I'm about to go there. See, you you're talking crazy now. I work in law enforcement. Okay. Um, Danger zone. One of those professions that I've <laughs> All right. So, what kind of that men are you? What kind of men are you drawn to? Funny. That is so funny because I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, I've already made three videos about. I've, I've said the women the high value and successful men avoid. I make no mistake. Make no bones about no. it. Psych chicks. But believe it or not, oh. I'm actually the opposite, though. Okay. Believe well, I didn't say it doesn't happen. I mean, psych chicks, nurses. I, I, trust me, it's going to be kind of funny one of these. Yeah, days. I mean, but, but here's the thing: what kind of men are you are typically drawn to you? All right, I'll give you an example. I dated a guy, right? He's in law enforcement. And he got out of a relationship with his wife, right? They were married for a very long time. And he said that, and he confirmed just what you said. He said, a lot of people think that it's the man that abuses the woman. He said, but contrary to belief, she actually abused me for most of our marriage. You know, she, he, you know, he raised a child that he had to find out wasn't biologically his. She took him through a lot. You know, he brought her home and she was having an affair most of the marriage and everything. So, but in short, right. Mm -hmm. As we begin to start getting to know each other and, you know, I had to deal with all of the baggage that he had from oh, his marriage. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. How long had you known this man? A year. And when you found out all this stuff, mm -hmm. this was in the what, in what, the first two or three months? Yeah, yeah. So let me stop you right here, sis. You should have been looking for the door. You did not have to deal with anything. You chose to. Well, no, that's true, but I want to give him a chance. I mean, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. see, right here. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you why the feminine women I deal with don't have any problem being, women I deal with are not a, only accustomed to being treated a certain kind of way. Right. When they come to my, listen to my show or some of the things I tell them about, they're like, what are you talking about? Mm. I have to kind of tell them, well, there are women who get these experiences like what? Because they've been feminine their entire lives. And they only get a certain caliber of men. They don't, these women don't even, they walk up to the door and they, if the door doesn't open for itself, they'll just stand there. Because they expect you to open the door. And you, guess what? They get the door opened. And what I'm saying, ma'am, is you, we all choose. So let me, let me reframe the question. The law enforcement mm -hmm. guy that you said, yes. you found all this about. Let's just say. You had the mm -hmm. law enforcement guy, and then let's just say you had a hedge fund manager, and he was making four hundred thousand dollars a month, and, right. and and he, and he was as a, as attractive or more attractive than this guy. You had the same vibe, same everything. He had everything you wanted and more, and he had a clean bill of mental health, all this other kind of stuff. <laughs> Which one would you have chosen? <sighs> You know what? That's a hard question for me to really answer. And, wow. I, and the only reason the reason why is because I didn't necessarily have a problem with the fact that he oh, had whoa, issues. Whoa, 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 whoa. I give you a healthy, functional man and a man with baggage, and that's a hard choice? I mean, I, well, I, I, the reason why I say that is because don't we all have baggage at some point? You know? I give you a healthy, <laughs> functional man... <laughs> And a man with baggage, and that's well, a choice. Yeah, since you put it like that, yes, yeah. But see, what, I, what, what I'm showing you, ma'am, is it's the men you pick. That's what I'm ultimately getting to you is you saying that it's the men that do this and that. I'm like, no, no, no. You saying you got to be hard because they'll 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 play you if you're naive. And I'm like, no, no some women, not well, myself. Well, but see, the thing is, I will tell you the women I deal with will listen to what you say and tell you, I don't. Deal with men who are broken. Power to the psychic. I, I mean, I'm just telling you, you.
first of all, I laugh because I've done a program on women that women that men need to avoid. And one of them are called advanced degrees. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. hold on. I'm a Ph.D. That's one. Mm-hmm. one uh, I'm a Ph.D. Uh, doctors, lawyers, military uh, police officers or women that were married to military or police officers or lawyers or doctors, nurses, psych chicks, um, massage therapists, nail technicians, bartenders, actresses. These women are, are tend to be women in a void. And there, but and there are always people who could fall in those categories who don't meet those things. But what I'm hearing from you is a strong personality. Nah, yeah, you're you're prejudging me. Definitely. I said what I'm hearing. Okay, in the chat room, do you mm-hmm. think in the chat room, ladies and gentlemen, do you think the woman on the phone is a strong personality? What do you guys hear from her personality? Actually, I babied him too much. Okay. That was I'm asking. Problem. I'm asking people mm-hmm. in the chat room. What do you guys hear? Yeah, that's cool. I understand. That's I'm not fine. prejudging you. I'm telling you what I hear, ma'am. And I speak to women Monday through no, Friday. No, I get it. I didn't get to say very much, but, but no, but I get thing, it. But the I thing is, that. ma'am, but, but see, you're a police officer. You're law enforcement, right? Correct. Okay. I, I'm also, what I do, I'm used to reading people. I read people every day. And I know what I'm reading. So I don't need to, I don't need to know everything. I'm telling you, even the way this interaction is going. It's not a it's not a judgment, ma'am. I'm just telling you the way you're coming across. No, I, I, listen, I don't have an issue with that. Not at all. Well, you said you think I'm prejudging you. I do, but I'm not I'm not upset or anything. All right. You know? And the thing is, um, if if given an opportunity between a man who doesn't need you. And a man mm-hmm. who needs you, which man do you want? I want a man that doesn't need me. Okay, well then when I asked you about the man who doesn't need you versus the man who does, you said that would be a hard thing because don't we all have problems? No, no, I understand exactly. Yeah, I, no, I get it. But like, you know, from what I from what I ascertain from talking to different men and stuff like that, like you say, the weight with women is an issue and it is right. But sometimes we're put in a position where we can't win for losing, quite honestly. OK, uh, we talk about the weight. Uh, whose responsibility is that? Um, A lot. But I, I have men tell me I'm too thin. OK, hold on, so hold, on, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said whose responsibility is the weight? No, I, I'm saying we're responsible for our weight. Right, right. So uh-huh. you, you said you had men tell you. To, so how tall are you? I'm almost five eight. And dress size? Six, because I weigh 146 pounds. Okay, I would almost guarantee you that the if you had men who are making substantially more money, you would not hear them tell you you're too thin. Broke men, broke men tend to like big women. Look at, I mean, you look across any genera- any any race. The more money a man tends to make, the more fit a woman tends to be, and the larger her ring is. I mean, yeah, no, no, that's true. But black men, they'll be like, you ain't got you. You need some more ass. You need some more hips, and you need more okay, this. You, okay, okay, you said black. You said black men like we're all the same. I'm talking about no, not black. all of you, not but all you said, of you. But you what said, I'm saying hold on, is, man, listen. Mm-hmm. You said black men would say you need some more hips. You need some more ass. And in that yeah. state, listen. And in that statement, you said black men. I fall in that category, and so does the dude in the county. I'm sorry. There's a big difference between me and the dude in the county. I don't tell you you need more ass and hips. I tell you you need to get on the goddamn treadmill and get them abs together. (laughs) We're different. And see, far too often, black women just act like we're one big black man. That's why I I focus on men who are successful, competitive, high value. They are different than guys who are Madden kings and living on your couch. Because one group of men, <laughs> one group of men, sis, don't need you. We want you, but we don't need you. Yeah, yeah, precisely. And then, but have you ever dated? And, and here's the real truth: Can you honestly say you've ever had mm-hmm. a serious relationship with a man who did not need you financially? Yeah. Huh? Absolutely. I was in a six-year relationship, and we didn't get married because his cancer got worse, and he decided that he didn't want to leave me like that. 
And he's actually, you know, at his last stages now. And it was his decision to say before it got that bad, to, I want you to move on and try to, you know, he was significantly older than I am. Um, and we were in a six year relationship. It started out in 2014 and it ended sometime before COVID because things got worse with him. And um, how old are you again? I'm 34. Mm -hmm. So I when we got together, oh, no. you know, he oh, had okay. to I don't and I'm, I'll leave that one. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I hear women say that. We can't show our femininity or our, or, or our softer side because it'll be taken for a sign of weakness. I just, right. I, and that's just outright, that's outright incorrect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a group of women that in my Facebook group, 300 plus women in there who lead with their femininity. And they're already, right. there are four couples in there already and, one, and one's leaning toward, is about to get engaged. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I see that's maybe what you believe, but it sounds to me, ma'am, is you're dealing with a certain kind of man. Can I clarify something right quick? Go ahead. I just want to clarify something. I didn't say all women, and I didn't use myself as an example necessarily. I said I do understand why some women do not deem it necessary to necessarily have to I mean, show their femininity in the very beginning out of fear of being taken advantage okay, of. Okay, but, so let so let, let let me flip that up. Let me let me flip uh -huh. it around. Let me flip it around. So uh, sure. so uh five. Some men don't show their masculinity up front for fear of being taken advantage of. Right. It's possible. It's possible. What? Yeah. And the reason why I say, say that say what say say it in your say say what I just said in your own words. I want to make sure that, that it makes some sense. men do not show their masculinity in the beginning out of fear of being misunderstood. No, no, right? no. Being taken advantage or of. Being taken advantage of or whatever. And that makes sense? It doesn't, but I can't say that it doesn't happen. And the reason why I say that is because some men who are very masculine have been told or, you know, that they no, need to. Oh, no, no. Okay. Allow Man. me to finish. Babe, listen, can I just, can I just, fin let me just get it out right quick. <laughs> Allow me to please. <laughs> Go ahead. Some, some men have been told that their masculinity comes across as intimidating. I know a guy who's like six, five and he has a complex Whatever. that every room he walks into people think that they need to fear him because of that. You know what I mean, and that's not something that he no, can control. I don't. No, I don't, because you're basically saying so. So basically, he should walk mm -hmm. around switching with a switching and acting feminine because he. No, I don't think so. Listen, no, okay, I don't let think you finish so. Now, hold on, <laughs> ma'am. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make no. any. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, and I'll let you keep go on and go on with it. And what you said doesn't make any sense either. But it's all you. It's what you got. And what you what you're ultimately saying is coming from a place of fear and scarcity. That's possible. No, no. Saying that you cannot be what you are for fear of someone taking advantage of you is coming from fear. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, I, I agree. It's possible. Well, then then be around a different caliber of man so you can be who God made you to be. Because there are women who are as feminine as, as you say you are or more. I so wish I could make a phone call right now and put anyway. Oh, my God. I mean, you know what? Go to my Instagram. Check. You tell me if you feel that I look intimidating. I'm willing to let you go I, I see. Don't, I don't need. I, I, if you I, say I that, if do, you look at me, you say you okay, look like you beat people okay, up. Man. No, man. But what I'm saying is your energy. Is very aggressive. It's, it's very masculine. That's you know what? I'll work on it. Going through the academy may do that to a woman. Well, it does, and this is one. Okay, and here's the thing. <laughs> this is one of the reasons I will tell you that my guys that are on my level, clients, my clients, they, these. When I said the women that these guys avoid, they they avoid them because those are masculine professions. The police academy was not created for women. Oh come on. I just made a statement of fact. Uh, are you trying to say the police academy was created for women? 
I'm going to I'm going to plead the fifth because I know how you get down. No, ma'am. I'm just asking a logic. I'm just, are you saying the profession of policing was created for women? I mean, see, I was raised to believe that we can all do it, you know, do everything, you know. Oh, we, we can. can oh, we can. OK, so um, <laughs> you have to do the same physical requirements that men have to do. Yeah, there's okay. no there's no. Okay, so, yeah. so, so so for to be a so to be a firefighter. You mm -hmm. have to be able to do a, a 200 pound dead man carry. Women can do that too? Yeah. I mean, if I was able to get sucker punched and get back uh, up, no, with no, 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 problem. no, 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 no. See, yeah. you didn't answer my question. I said a 200. You believe that men and women can do the same things physically? Well, it's being proven every day. They are, though. They are. I mean, I've been on an all-male unit, and I've seen women have more heart than the men on there in the prison system. Let me tell you something, ma'am. Let me just go right there. If I wanted to whoop your ass, it wouldn't be shit you could do except take it. You are, not my, you, are not my, you are not my equal. I'm tired of you women walking around here thinking that you are a man's equal. You ain't my equal because we allowed you to have a job that you ain't qualified for. Policing is not a female profession. It's a male profession. Just like the, I hope you could whoop my because ass because it is a male yeah. profession. It is a yeah. male profession. Now, see, now I'm about to go there. See, you you're talking crazy now. You're talking crazy. Police Why? I'm actually being I'm being lighthearted. But I'm goodness. not being lighthearted because this this shit is too much with our sisters. Y'all actually think y'all are like goddamn men. I'm telling you, man. Ma all right, all right. I'm not going to argue with you. You are not. A, we are not equals. And just because you think that a woman over here, a woman over here can look, can do something a man can do, you are not physically as strong as a man. You're not even created to be that way. And this is part of the problem with women in your line of work. You lose mm -hmm. all masculine, you, you lose all feminine point of reference to where you even start answering questions. You're, you're conflicted about shit that should be conflicted. You mean the okay. army was created for women? Firefighters are created for women? So can I ask you a question? I, you mean all those all those professions were created with women in mind? No, I mean, I know that it wasn't, but I want to still ask you a question. So let's say like if your daughter said, Daddy, I want to go into law enforcement and make a difference, especially in the climate that we're in currently. Would you tell her that it was never created, you know, for her? And she you got do damn it right. OK. Without blinking. I mean, I respect that. Like I said, because you could have because you could have that uniform on and everything else, and I could still boot a man. Could you are not a goddamn man, and we have let women think that there is no difference, and there's a problem, man. Because mm -hmm. even when I say you're coming across in your masculine energy, this that you really, I, I get it that you don't get it because you're you're used to being this way. So you the, to you this is normal, and you see yourself as the woman that you are. But I'm telling you, go back and look in the chat room. And go look at all the men and the women writing down masculine. It's not just men. It's women. That's cool. So that's what the world reads. And I will tell you, women with your energy draw conflict. You draw conflict, meaning you draw side chick or one night stand energy or weak men. Men are not drawn to women. I'm not saying you, but women like you. No, I not drawn to women like you with the desire to provide and protect for you because you look like you can do it just fine. So we just need to get it in, bend over the couch, <laughs> and I'm going to leave and go on by my business. I mean, and, and that's the thing. So, I mean, you walk around with a gun and shit, and, and, and it's like, all right, well, I mean, well, you, you don't look like you need us. So, all right, sis, appreciate it. You know damn well, you know damn well, cops wasn't made for no women. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May his soul rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. Guys, continue to watch his videos on YouTube. He has so much amazing videos there. Those that are looking for male self improvement videos, he got you covered. Men that are also looking for ways to uplift your game when it comes to the daily market in today's very market i mean he got you covered too and women that are also looking for ways to be able to attract the quote-unquote high value men that you guys are always looking for 
He also guides your covet because he will teach you the right attitude. He will teach you the right way to behave to be able to attract that type of a man. But always bear in mind, your looks is always going to be a key component to it. So, hey, I'm just telling you, he's just going to give you the right attitude and the right behavior to be around those type of men. But if your looks is not at that level and you are obese too, I guess that's just not your place to be at. So now talking about the lady that Godfather just had a conversation with, I think everyone watching this video, like he was saying in the comment section, you hear men and women all saying she's masculine. And even the point that she was arguing that men and women can do the same type of job and police and all those type of things, firefighting and all those type of things, was meant for both men and women. It's just masculine by itself. That argument is just, I mean, it, it means there is no difference between masculinity and femininity. Alone is even a proof that she's masculine because that's a masculine being argumentative and non-agreeable. It's a masculine trait, so asking, oh, I don't think I'm like that and all those type of things is just crazy because you were just in that act. And even not accepting what he was saying is masculine. Women that are feminine tend to always kind of very receptive and all those things. So she believed what she wanted to believe, but the reality is she's masculine. And the point that she was saying men and women can do the same type of thing and Godfather say, if I want to whoop your ass, I can whoop your ass easily. I bet you if this lady will put her gun down, most women, average men that are walking around, I guarantee you 90 to 95% will be able to whoop a lady that is a police officer that is just not trained. A guy that is just on train. Without a gun, he whoop your ass. But a guy that is trained, be a police officer, and a guy that is not trained, that is an average guy that is not that, like, it's just... It's not going to be easy. Men are physically stronger than women. It's not even close. It's the, the margin between men and women when it comes to strength is very huge. It's not just close at all. And there is multiple of reasons that is causing that. Men have higher bone density and also men have high testosterone. In some cases, you have certain women having testosterone. But even with that, it's still not up to the average man that is having testosterone. Even better meals still i mean you know at the end of the day still have high testosterone over women that are just kind of masculine so it's not a bad thing that's how you guys were created and the reason why this woman was arguing the way she was arguing talking about men and women can both do the same caliber of job whether it's firefighting and being police officer or something it's just the fact that they've been brainwashed to the point that they think that being feminine is weakness being a feminine lady doesn't mean that you're weak. It means you are accepting who you are. You love being who you are. It's just not something that should be seen as weakness. No. I don't see a woman that is feminine as weak. But the reason why these women are always taking professions that will show that they can do what men can do is just the fact that they've been brainwashed to think that being feminine and not masculine is weakness. And they will try to prove themselves to the point that even it will be working against them because this lady is 34 years old and she's obviously looking for a man to marry her. But being in that field is just not helping her because she's being masculine as fuck and even being told she's masculine, she still don't want to receive it or she don't want to accept it. And that right there is a big problem and most men will not want to handle it. It's the reality. When this man talks, it's almost like magic or it's almost like I just, you just cannot understand. But the professions that he pretty much names, I mean, on this show, we've seen it time and time that it's just what it is. Tell you police officers and all these law enforcement people are always kind of masculine. So men tend to always avoid them. And time and time, they always come on to prove him right and still have a way to argue guys that brings us to the end of today's video thanks for watching more respect on his name may he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever keep checking his videos on youtube he has so much amazing videos there and guys like i always tell you focus on your goals protect yourself against these type of systems that are 
just trying to make you feel like you and women are equal and all those type of you know systems that are just there to oppress male so you gotta be protecting yourself the systems are not coming to protect you it is what it is until we meet in the next video peace i'm out